What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Been a long time since we checked out some Abbott and Costello. And today we got the Parallel Parked Car. One of the funniest duos ever. You gotta pay attention to their comedy though because if, you just, if you're not paying attention, you're gonna miss the whole joke. So let's get into it. Abbott and Costello, the Parallel Parked Car. I can't think of a thing that we can pawn. We borrowed off every friend that we know. Pardon me, gentlemen, I... but I'm on the spot. I need to dime this very minute. Oh, here's a guy worse off than we are. Well, I'm you sorry, buddy. I'd like to help you, but I haven't got a dime. I got a dime. My last dime, Abbott. I don't want to tell you about it. I want to try to save it. Well, give it to him. There you are, mister. Oh, thank you. Good thank luck. You so <laughs> You gotta pay the meter. Thank you, gentlemen. Now I know I won't get a ticket on my car. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> thought it was down bad. Uh oh, too close. That parallel park can get you. She can't get out in that big old car. Oh, well, how do you do, Mrs. Bronson? Oh, uh, Mr. Costello, Mr. Abbott, am I glad to see you? Isn't this terrible? What am I going to do? Why, well, you in trouble? Well, look at my car, the way it's wedged in between those other cars. And I'm already late for my appointment at the beauty parlor. It'll be a crime for me to miss my beauty treatment. Sure would. I, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, now, that should be very simple, to unwedge a thing like that. Well, of course, a, a good driver could manipulate my car away from the curb. Oh, sure. Say no more. We'll get you out of this, Mrs. Robinson. But I'm a beginner. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. You sure are hemmed in, kid. Yes, well, uh, it's very simple. <laughs> Costello will get you out of this mess. Oh, yes. I'll... Now you oh, won't get you. Nah, I say, hold on. What's wrong with that? Why do you always put Costello in the middle like this? I'm going to get around. Lou, you know I'm left-handed, don't you? Yeah. That's a right-handed wheel. How could I do it? I guess I'll have to do it. You help the lady out. I'm I'll always you. willing to help a lady in distress. Don't worry about a thing. Hey, I'm a boy. Get right in the seat there. You know how to handle that, don't you? Yep. Any advice you want, just ask me. You, uh, you look and see if I'm not, so I don't uh, hit nothing. Go ahead, I'll watch around. Man, get out. Now, wait a minute. Take it easy now. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead and back up. Take your pardon? Back up. Back up. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Go ahead and back up. I'll tell you when. You just told me I got to back up. Well, back up. I'm going to back up. Go ahead. <laughs> I can't do the two things at once. I either got to go ahead go or I got to back, back up. up. Now, what do you want me to do? Back up or go ahead? Look, what are you saying? Go ahead. Back up. Please, don't make a production out of this thing. You're only trying to get the car out. You want me to back up? I'll watch for you. You want me to back up? Back up. I'm going to back up. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Abbott? What are you saying? Go ahead. You want me to go ahead? No, no, no. I'm watching back here. You just told me to go ahead. No, I didn't. I want you to back up. I back up. Well, go ahead. <laughs> I can't hear you. His brain is going to explode. You do as I tell you, please. I'm trying to do what you tell me. You can't go ahead and you can't back up at the same time, can you? No, the no, no. So just back up. Now, let's take it easy. I am going to back up. Now, leave it alone. Yes. So I, I am going to back up. All right, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Go what ahead. do you keep saying? Go ahead and look at that way far. Well, I'm watching you. You want me to go ahead? I'll go ahead. I want you to go ahead. Excuse me, Mrs. Bronson. We'll get you out. We'll get out. She's like, y'all don't know what you're doing at all. Go ahead. Back up. Take it easy. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Back up. Oh, thank you. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are they about to leave? They going to leave her with the Rex car? <laughs> they are ridiculous. Why hit the gas so hard? Oh no. Uh oh. The bumpers are locked. Ah, oh, that's a common everyday. Uh, well, get up there and uh, jump up and down. That'll unlock them. I know. I know. I know. Oh, well, you know. You know everything. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Got it? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh oh. Gustav, what are you doing up there? Mike, are you going crazy? No, the bumpers are locked. Oh, I've got to get to the beauty shop. Oh, well, there's nothing to this. I'll show you how to handle this. Now, wait a minute. You jump up there, and I'll lift this. That's good. You lift it up, Mike, and I'll right. jump down. I'll push right. it down. Go ahead. Ready? You got it? Ready? Go. Oh, okay. Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God! 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 Oh, my God!
Uh, I know. What the manual? What are you going to put the manual? Drive 30 miles an hour in a school. I know it's supposed to go no. Mike! Oh, here we are. In a case like this, call for help. Oh man, look, you know, on this channel, we're gonna start looking at more Abbott and Costello. We're gonna look at as much as we can because I just think that their their comedy is just a little something special, man. You know their comedy's classic. If you know anything about Abbott and Costello, you know these guys are classic and they just, their humor is just, it's so ridiculous. It's just, it, it gets you every time. This one was called Parallel Parking. Let me know which one we should do next. And when it comes to classic comedy, there's gotta be some other ones out there. So put that in the comments for me. Let me know and we'll get to that too. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.